That's the beauty of grunge. Exactly. The beauty yeah. of grunge is grunge looks very grungy. <laughs> so nobody really cares. You're so used to clean surface. You're so used to clean design. And grunge, it's got its own sweet flavor, you know. It's got a beautiful flavor. It doesn't make you feel too intimidated. In a way, in a way. That, you know, it doesn't put you in a position where you have to be a perfectionist to appreciate it. You appreciate this it's more about expression. Of, it's more about expression. It's more it embraces the idea. The messiness. Of the messiness of the human life. Human life can uh, can become better, but it's never going to become perfect. That's the beauty of grunge. It's accepting the way you are. Yeah. Grunge is very natural. So you can appreciate this today. You can appreciate this hundred years from now. It'll still be beautiful. Grunge is you. You can go and scratch it. You still not feel a, a thing about it. So that's how grunge works. Grunge is very interpersonal. Very interpersonal. Nobody will stand in front of grunge and say, wow, what a job. But they don't feel that. They'll feel for it. It's very uh, interactive. It connects with you at your deepest level. You go stand on a grunge wall, you touch it and you know, you'll sip tea. You have no problems. You will never stand against a wall that's clean and neat and there's just two lines there. You'll feel intimidated, but there's a disconnect there. They're two different school of thoughts, two different school of design. First time you've tried grunge and it's, it's a beautiful way of uh, displaying emotions. And the world is moving towards grunge. You are trying to make, uh, I mean, you're trying to be more acceptable of the way you are these days. So grunge is the way to go. Okay, Anjana, maybe you can try. What did you feel like the first day? Okay, it was really exciting because, you know, it's not every day that you get to break paint on the walls of your college. And um, the whole ladder thing and all. Yeah. It's very exciting. You know, you get that in the street. You know, street painting. Stuff. Street painting. Street yeah, art kind of thing. Street art kind of thing. So that was really cool. That was exciting. First of all. And even while doing it, we learned so much, like new techniques and all, like which we never thought of before. And then grunge for one, right? Yeah. You're, you're not really used to the idea of grunge. You do a, yeah. a lot of polished stuff here. Yeah, a lot of it. So getting into the hot sun, dirtying yourself, and yes. then doing dirty work on the walls <laughs> that turn out to be beautiful. Yeah, and working on such a big scale, like usually we're scale. Yeah, favorite. So it's like so big, and first of all, we have no idea what we're gonna do. Then like slowly it works out. So what did you feel? What did you feel the entire length of the day? What, what were the feelings, the emotions? Happiness. One word. Happiness. Wow. There's, there's a certain way happiness works, you know? But until a certain point, you're analyzing what you're doing. But the moment happiness kicks in, your analysis goes off all around. Six of them. And it, all that you feel is happiness throughout the day. I mean, if I were to ask you questions on what is this happiness thing that you felt, decoded, you will still not have an answer. Because it's happiness. Once happiness kicks in, there's no count of how many hours has gone by, you know? It just flies by like that. So it's, it's beautiful that you, you know, you, you summarize with that one word, happiness is what you felt. Okay, anybody else who wants to add to that, maybe their share? I have never. Okay, grunge for me, I, I don't even know that, didn't even know that G about grunge. Uh -huh. I'm more into avant-garde and more polished stuff like fine lines and I, I'm i very like particular about what strokes I want and how I want it. But then grunge, so I went then I, I got the idea behind it. I saw the one of the illustrations that made the chakra and I, and I saw how you try to put the character in her dress, you know, the track lines and the numbers and I see how her personality you can like know about the personality through her dress. I didn't know how to find it. That's why I even That's asked, you, asked, me asked you. Like how did you design a, design a character? character? Yeah, so like that was, that was the, exactly, that, that was the most important thing for me. Fascinating thing exactly. Wow, yeah. so nicely you said, you know. Yeah. Like, being an artist, I've never approached artworks like this. Like the way he said us, it's like uh, well organized. Like what is gonna be that everything he had perfectly so there was no no confusion or something no fight he goes nothing nothing like coordination yeah. is better yeah coordination everything was better you know, the best thing about us were mostly we're very dedicated to it like all 12 days like we worked out so much like we had fun also and learned a lot of life lessons too this was so different like i learned to see things in different ways like a grunge that's a new thing to me actually like many people I think that you 
chunks of your food everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the painting like not like that, like uh, most of the paintings if you see, we can see in certain the uh, perspective. And being a mural, like graffiti, like as I said, like it was different. We can see this thing with every angle, possible angle. You you will feel the same. And still, you will get some difference when you go close. You can feel things. What many things happening there? Many interesting things happening there. Every day when you wake up, you look at yourself. There would be one tiny bit of you that would have changed. Yeah. Every day I wake up, I look at myself. I I think my hair is gone a little, <laughs> little more. I mean, I've lost a little more. A few more strands has come out. Yeah. So there's something that keeps changing in you. You have too much water. Your face swells up. You have very little water. Your face still swells up. And uh, I mean, there's things that keep changing in you. So that's the whole idea of grunge. The beauty of grunge is this constant change, appreciation of change. So every time you go to the painting, every day, try doing this. Every day you go to the painting, you still find something interesting there. Oh wow, this stroke! Did I do this stroke? That'll 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 hit you hard. Wow, this color. When did this happen? I use red, but there's orange here. So there's something or the other that you that you keep noticing. In, in, in these paintings. That's the best part of it, what, what I think. It's it's observations every day. It's not like you look at it one day, judge, and then you're done with it. You, Are you, the observation depends on each person. They they observe differently, they look at differently. True, true. So if they connect with their emotion and then, yeah, interpersonal, yeah. it's like that. So what we say exactly it's not gonna be what it is. True, true. You, can, you can never person. comprehend it completely. You can never do it for another person too. I mean, you can't do it for yourself. You can't look at your piece and say, oh, I've understood everything about it. Because, you know, when I look at my paintings, I'm like, wow, did I do that stroke? <laughs> Why did I feel like doing this bit? So it's very impulsive. The whole thing is very impulsive, very in the moment kind of an art piece. And that's exactly what everybody will feel. Today you go and look at it, you try and comprehend, you feel, ah, it's a red, blue and green. Tomorrow when you look at it, you learn and look at red, blue and green. You look at the other shades and then you'll be wondering, wow, how did this happen? Yesterday was red, blue and green. Today it looks yellow, pink and blue. Why? So that's the beauty of the whole uh, process. So much in so many.